Welcome to the Art of Living Retreat Center here in Boone, North Carolina. This is a place where a lot of people from around the world come to search for peace and spirituality. Hello, I'm Kim Rossi, the Director of Ayurveda and Wellness at Art of Living Retreat Center and Shankara Ayurveda Wellness in the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains of Boone, North Carolina. Ayurveda is the oldest natural health care system on the planet, and its purpose is to heal and maintain the quality and longevity of our life, primarily through diet, what we eat, how we eat, when we eat, lifestyle, how are we living, stress management, stress is inevitable, we can't control stress, but we can control our response to stress, cleansing, and herbs. Ayurveda is global. Ayurveda, you see, is sustainable. It's not a one solution fits all. It's customizable and it's kind. Wellness is a $4 billion industry today and Ayurveda is 5,000 years old. It comes to us or was born by Charaka, and the ancient texts teach us how to heal through these modalities, diet, lifestyle, cleansing, herbs. And Ayurveda is becoming popular again in, in, the, in the East and the West because we are looking for ways to fix the root cause of disease, not just cover the symptoms. And while Western medicine is new, it's very important, Ayurveda helps us discover why the disease or the imbalance is happening and going to fix the root to heal and cure Ayurveda is customizable, sustainable. It is not a one-size solution fits all. It is not a quick fix. So it is customizable based on your type. And there are three types. There is Vata, which is predominantly ether and air. When we look at Vata, it's dry, rough, light, cold, and mobile. Vata types tend to have long limbs and be lean. They tend to be very talkative and creative, and when they move, they flutter like hummingbirds or butterflies. Pitta is fire with some water. Fire is, pitta is hot, sharp, oily. Pitta types tend to have an athletic build. They tend to have brown spots, freckles, or a reddish tint to their skin. They can tend to premature uh, gray uh, or bald, and they tend to be very intense dynamic forces. Kapha is earth and water. Kapha is heavy, cool, damp, moist, static, gross. Kapha types tend to have a large build, large bones. They tend to have thick, fleshy skin, and they tend to be cool in nature. Kapha types are said to be very grounded and loyal, and they tend to have really good endurance and immune systems. So we are ether, air, fire, water, and earth. We are all five elements, and therefore we are all three doshas. We are vata, pitta, and kapha. What we are looking at is what is predominant in our genetic makeup. And that is determined at birth. When the sperm hits the ovum, that determines our property. What we are coming into this world with the most of. We look at what is predominant in our genetic makeup. 
Our property does not change throughout our life. However, our imbalances are always changing. So we look at the imbalances and we somewhat categorize them as a vata imbalance, uh, a pitta imbalance, or a kapha imbalance, and we address it through that way. And the best way to get this done is through an Ayurvedic doctor or practitioner. They can correctly assess what your constitution, your property is, and what your imbalance is, your vrikriti is. So there's a few different stories about how this beautiful center developed here in Boone, North Carolina. The first story is Maharishi. He was the transcendental meditation teacher to the superstars, to the Beatles back in the day. He was flying over this beautiful mountain. And based on the latitude and the longitude and the energy, the mountain called him to build the center here. So the message is this was sacred land and a perfect place to plant the seeds of a meditation or international wellness center. The center was created on all of the principles of Vastu, which is the art of placement. Maybe you've heard of Feng Shui, that's Chinese. Vastu is from India. And all of the buildings were created to create harmony, peace, and the ability to settle or go within. Matches so the land supports the buildings that were created for people to go inside or to be silent or to do some, some work in internal work. There was a falling out in the community and uh, this beautiful property, 26 buildings over 200 acres, went into foreclosure and bankruptcy. And if you Wikipedia Maharishi, his three notable students are Deepak Chopra, uh, David Lynch, uh, who has uh, kept on the TM, Transcendental Meditation Movement, and Sri Sri Ravi Shankar. And Sri Sri Ravi Shankar was searching in the United States uh, for a US based center as he has. Uh, major centers in other countries and little centers in 150 countries. He was looking for a large center um, to be uh, a classroom, uh, to be uh, where people can sleep and eat, and all sorts of uh, backgrounds could come together and uh, do their particular work. So it wasn't um, a particular uh, lineage that had to do work here. We, we are open to all sorts of anything for wellness, for healing, for transformation, for personal growth and development. Ten years ago, uh, he, he purchased our Art of Living Retreat Center and restored the property in its original grandeur and purpose. Of, of doing uh, sacred work on sacred land. And we serve the community. Uh, we are uh, one of the top five employers in, in, the, in the area. And we also have uh, rental units where uh, students who don't necessarily want to be on campus can be removed from campus in a more tranquil uh, set, setting that fosters uh, learning. I see this trend all the time where the most beautiful reservoir of wellness or healing is in one's backyard. And those are the ones that utilize it the least. Yet people come from all over the world to come to it. And, and I, I do see that here. I see Art of Living being a huge resource while we have integrated into upstate um, our meditation programs and our breathing programs. Uh, there's still room for, for more uh, integration and to be utilized. So it seems like a really important time where we're searching, 
We're searching for wholeness. We're searching for peace. We're searching for unity. And it needs to start from in here, within. And Art of Living Retreat Center has many different avenues for you to explore what will connect you with you and cultivate the best version of yourself, happy, healthy, and whole. And we invite you to drop in for a class, drop in for a day, or come experience a program. We have residential or commuter rates, so you're welcome to stay or not. Perhaps you just want to come in for a hearty vegetarian meal, maybe a yoga class, a meditation class, a dance class. We invite you. We would love to see you. We also have a wonderful array of spa treatments based on the science of Ayurveda. This is a green goddess with oat milk. It has banana, pineapple, spinach, kale, dates, and a little bit of garden mint. This is the loud part. Indiana, your delicious green goddess smoothie. So the Art of Living Retreat Center brings diversity, spirituality, peace to the Appalachian Mountains. I'm Indiana Montes. <laughs>